What is this? Okay, news, um, parameters, what? Mods? Uh, oh, there's a play button. Let's go. There's a lot here. Okay. Quick play. What is all this? What the f I got you, friend. Too many buttons, no amazing intro cinematic. Just walk in. A billion buttons for controls. You just bought it and have no idea what the F is going on. Or you you haven't played Arma in a while and forgot how to play. In under five minutes, you'll go from pull my hair out, massive headache, to shooting bad guys in Arma. Open Arma 3, and when the launcher opens, click play. Once you get to the menu, click on tutorials and open up boot camp. You will see prologue, open that up and see reality check and click continue. Bootcamp is absolutely where you should start if you've never played Arma before or if you haven't played in a while and you forget the controls. Why? Well, Bootcamp essentially is the basics. It's basics of the game. You get the controls, you get you tell you all the basic controls that you need to know, and all of the features. So, a general list of what you're gonna see in bootcamp is tax, aiming, navigation. Uh, you get to shoot things, because let's be real, that's that's why we're here. Uh, you'll see waypoints, uh, there, there's a cool helicopter flyby in there and another cameo I won't mention. Uh, there's the action menu, which is very important to Arma. Uh, fatigue, you guys isn't freaking Usain Bolt. There's all these different stances, there's weapon attachments, you also get to learn how to use the map, there's map markers, there's a grid. Um, it's, you know, it's rocket science, uh, but you gotta learn it here. It's definitely not for Google Maps people, um, but you could earn your rocket science degree right here in like five minutes. And and then there's driving. You gotta learn how to do a little bit, just regular car driving. It's probably enough for you to get your driver's license. You also get a little bit of cinematic music. And boom, you've learned all the basics. And heck, that prologue actually rolls straight into the main single player campaign. Boot camp takes about 30 minutes to complete. And from there, you can start any other part of the game to have a basic understanding. Now, this game is amazing and there's so much more to it. So there are additional training that you can do that I would recommend after boot camp if you really want to understand the game and not miss out on all of the capabilities that it has. But before I get there, please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more Arma content. Additional training. And now that you've completed boot camp, you know the basic basics of the game that you can get around and be a regular grunt infantryman, crayon eating marine. But you're smarter than that. You're not like the Call of Duty guys doing 360 no scopes impossible, run around, shoot people, get shot, respawn at a random point, go type of person. You want to learn the other parts of this amazing game with an infinite amount of things to go. So there's a good starting point for that, for additional training. There's a couple places. The first one, VR training, and the second is showcases. So what will you find in VR training? All kinds of things. VR training has material penetration, which is essentially bullet sizes, placeables like mines and claymores, launchers that are both anti-tank and anti-air, there's target designation using either a handheld or UAVs. VR training includes a unique portion of this game, which is commanding AI, and it splits into four different parts like movement, behavior, actions, and vehicles. It's a great one for if you're planning on doing single player. And if you're here to fly a helicopter, there's basic weapon systems, sling loading, advanced crash landing for helicopters. And then there's weapon handling, also known as shooting. And the detail it goes into are the basics, moving targets, weapon sway, weapon inertia, advanced stances, uh, stabilization, optics, and barrel attachments. Each of these VR trainings are broken up pretty well so that you don't have to do it all at once. You can do piece by piece or just pick one here or there that you want to learn right now and maybe leave some of the other ones for later. To get to VR training, open up the Arma 3, get to the main menu, click tutorials, and click VR training. Now once you're in VR training, you'll load into the virtual reality realm, and you'll see a lot of these uh, little orange floating indicators, and to start the training, you just take your gun and 
shoot at the orange indicator. Some of them will be locked and they will unlock as soon as you complete the previous training. Showcases. So showcases are another place for you to do some more, I guess, training. They're not necessarily straight up training, but more so an actual what it is. It's a showcase. Arma has so many different features that other shooter games do not have. And so they're, they set up these different scenarios for you to actually play the game and experience a feature that some of the, uh, these other games do not have. So if you look at the list, you'll see things like scuba diving, uh, different vehicles, commanding, drones. Um, you can actually look at like NATO, at uh, the different factions and actually test drive all of their different vehicles and their guns all ready to go in a what feels like a real life uh, game. Uh, there's also like things like sling loading and Zeus, where Zeus, it, it, the thing actually teaches you how to Zeus as in being like, a, it's basically like a dungeon master in Dungeons and Dragons, where you actually decide as Zeus and uh, what the play other players that you're playing with are playing against, what could happen, and making it a fun uh, experience for everybody that you're playing with. Playing a showcase is like just playing a mission, but it's geared towards a particular type of game style that you might be interested in. They're a great way to learn very specific aspects to the game. To get to the showcases, access the Arma 3 main menu, click single player, showcases. Choose a showcase and click play. And that's it for additional training. We've gone through boot camp, VR training, and showcases. And if you can't tell, this game is vast. It is vast in its vastness. In that there's so much to learn. There's so much to this game, which means we have a problem. With so much to learn, there is also so much to forget. Luckily, Arma knows this and has provided us tools to remember everything that's going on. First is the, the field manual. This is where all of the basic mechanics of the game, not just the basics, but like all of the different mechanics in the game, including the controls, can be found. You can just open this up from the main menu, go to tutorials, field manual. Also, while you're playing the game and you're like, uh, how do I fly UAV? Uh, or how do I lock on with the uh, anti-air launcher? Uh, you can actually just hit escape, open up the menu, and you'll see an option for field manual, and you'll see the exact same thing. The nice thing about the field manual is that even if you change your key bindings, you change your controls, the field manual will reflect that. So when you start getting a hang of the game, you change the controls, or you copy my control preset with my mod list that I've created, you can see the controls in game for all of the vanilla Arma features. So that was tool number one. Now for tool number two is the default keyboard layout cheat sheet. Now this lay keyboard layout cheat sheet has all of the default controls. It was created by BI to help you remember the bajillion controls that there are in this game. It's an official PDF document that has all of the keys that you need by default and it's separated by infantry, vehicles, aircraft, and group slash team command controls. What's even cooler is that you can actually print out this PDF document, fold it up, cut it, and boom, you have a 3D keyboard layout right in front of you that you can reference on the go, on the fly, and keep you in the game. Of course, this being a PDF, it only works if you have the default keys. So if you do change your key bindings, I would also change it on this piece of paper, which can get really messy real quick. That being said, with adding the billions of different mods that you can add to this game, the keys will need to change. And it can be very hard to track because changing one control can really mess up the entirety of the key binding set. So if you use my mod list, it will also come with something similar to this that you can quickly reference for controls. And the third tool isn't really another tool, it's more of just 
hey, I've forgotten the controls or I forget how to do something. And that's just to repeat training, repeat boot camp, repeat VR training and the showcase it. You can run these through again if you haven't played the game in a while or if you've dramatically changed your controls. So now that we've gone through boot camp, VR training, showcases, and each of the tools, field manual, the keyboard layout cheat sheet, you now know exactly what to do to start playing Arma. So go on, get Jump in, shoot things, have fun. Once you've freshened yourself up on these basics, come back to Knight and Arma for the best mod list and setup to get the most out of my favorite game of all time, Arma. Please like and subscribe, help me feed my family, that'd be great. And please answer one of my three questions in the comments section below. Number one, what problems are you running into with Arma? Number two, what is keeping you or your friends from enjoying Arma? And number three, if you had to choose one, which Arma 3 mod is your favorite?